Hi everyone and welcome to International Mouth of Foot Painting Day. I'm my, my name is Ian Parker and I'm a mouth painter and uh, throughout the year I'm continually coming up with uh, various designs for the mouth of foot painting artists which generally mainly include um, Christmas cards designs and greetings card designs and maybe designs of paintings for for calendars but most especially uh, for Christmas cards which can be quite funny if we're in the middle of a heat wave like we were recently but you're already still thinking about uh, doing Christmas card designs but uh, so you can see um, the kind of things I do here are several examples of paintings that I've done for the mouth foot painters Now, when I'm working um, on, as an artist, um, I've got several pieces of equipment that I will use all the time. And I've got favourite particular, favourite um, brushes, as you can see here. Now, when I'm starting a painting, um, the big one that you can see there is a hog hair brush. And it's a, it's a brush that really, you can uh, really get stuck into a painting. You don't have to worry about it too much. And I can really get the, the feel of a painting quite rough, quite quick, um, but it's a good general purpose brush. And um, from there, I will then go on, um, if I want to uh, refine a painting a little more, to the, paint, uh, to the paint brushes that are next door, um, which then come to uh, more of a, a point um, for making uh, details, and uh, clearer lines and things like that um, a bit like the paintings that I've just uh, just shown you but occasionally that I like just mainly using the hog's hair brush because it has a real particular feel to it that's slightly rougher and a little looser um, when it comes to the design of the painting like um, these two paintings that I'm showing you now Now when I'm working, um, you might imagine if I'm holding on to a brush, particularly a wooden handled brush, then in my mouth, then there's a danger that the, uh, the brushes will, will readily split and actually they wear out more quickly in my mouth than the ends of the brushes do with um, the bits, uh, um, uh, the ends of the brushes for painting. And to stop that doing, and which is also a really, really uncomfortable if it's in my mouth, I have um, mouth pieces, and most of the my fellow colleagues, um, mouth painters, will also have the same. But we all have different, use different things. And what I mainly use uh, for brushes, as you can see here, are pen lids. And the reason for that is, I like to be able to move the brush around my mouth from side to side depending on what I'm painting and sometimes I like to actually spin the brush round as well um, just to get a different side or a different edge of the brush for when I'm doing painting particularly when I'm drawing lines um, but I also use mouthpieces on, on other pieces of equipment that I have such as these sticks. These sticks I use for doing things like moving things around my table or typing on a, a keypad on, on a computer. And as you can see, these mouthpieces are different. They're, they're flat and it means that I can bite onto them and it offers a lot more um, security in my mouth without it moving around. A lot, uh, I get a lot more um, control over hitting the the buttons on the computer or for using the the mouse uh, when I'm using that on the computer now as an artist I have favorite paints as well and um, occasionally I will do watercolors but the main thing I the main paint I use is actually acrylic and I actually have three different types of acrylic and the first one 
is System 3 Acrylic. And this is a really good general purpose um, paint um, that I use most of the time uh, for all different types of paintings. Um, the one in the middle is um, Artist Acrylic by uh, Windsor & Newton. And that has a slightly uh, stronger pigment to it than the System 3. But I found that really good for doing paintings of things like animal portraits. Um, so like doing dog portraits. <laughs> I've even done a dinosaur using that. And it's a really, uh, it's a really good paint for doing something like that. It has a little more tooth, you could say, <laughs> if you excuse the pun, um, from the original one, from the first one, the System 3. And last of all is Liquitex. And Liquitex probably has the highest pigment of all three. And it has a completely different feel to it when I'm painting. It's really quite creamy um, where, um, to the canvas. Uh, it's a little bit more like oil painting, uh, painting with oils in a way. And, and talking of that, the last paint I'll, I'll show you is the oil paints that I use. And... Um, I particularly use oil paints either because I just want to change and I feel like having a rest from acrylic. Sometimes some paintings suggest that they would be better to me, that they would be better done in oils. But I especially go to oils in the summer when when it's particularly hot because acrylics have a real um, problem sometimes of drying out quickly. Um, Normally, I, it's not a problem for me. I'm very used to using oils, um, acrylic, but um, sometimes oils just give me that little bit of, of flexibility and we're doing something different, like with this um, painting that I'm showing you now. As a means of celebrating this uh, special day, International Mouth of Foot Painting Artist Day, I've st just started uh, a new painting that I would like to share with you in a minute uh, about uh, showing me starting it and working up to about halfway through. As I've shown you um, with my paints, I have various different paints and I, I needed to come up with the right type of paint for using this design. Normally I would work on uh, canvas panels, uh, but for this thing, um, because it's a special size that we're after, I've been painting on acrylic paper at um, the size of A4 and um, a paint that I found really useful for this is the Liquitex that I was telling you about earlier. Um, the previous two years or so um, I actually illustrated a, a children's book for the mouth of foot painting artist called Danny's Dream and I found that that particular type of paint uh, works really well on the um, acrylic paper and it is also has really good color so that's why I've chosen to use it for this painting that you're going to see now Well, that's about all from me now. If you've enjoyed uh, this little film that I've shared with you, you can also find um, films done by fellow artists from around the world using the hashtag MFPA Day. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.